Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country and Let's Play Control. And yes, here we are back with Jesse, director of the Federal Bureau of Control, and her efforts to try to, well, get rid of the hive mind infestation. Anyway, so we're back here at where we left off by the power plant, but before we go in and lift the internal lockdown over there, I'm thinking one of the things we may want to do is we may want to, well, take a look what we got here. All right, the, this, um, yeah, we need to change that. We'll do that in a moment. But we have research and records. The Hiss Trooper. Here we go. Field research on his trooper. His cryptid trooper. Summary. That's the big guy we shot at the end of last episode. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to do unknown AWEs, thresholds, or other paranormal, paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst because preparation means having a chain gun. Not trying to figure out what the hell's going on. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the his resonance surrounding these entities' shield is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure they use to make use of any available cover. Please also know that telecleatanic enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Seriously, Emily is, like, on ball with keeping up with this stuff. Anyways, back to uh, missions. Yeah, we want to also get to where burning trash is, so let's start tracking that. And we'll eventually get to the training course, which sounds like a lot of fun, but I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go here in the field training obstacle course. So we're going to have to find out where that is. In the meantime, let's pop out here and see what we can get for our counterboard measures. Okay, uh, surge, pierce, spin, charge... Uh, sigh. We don't have charge or spin or pierce or surge for that matter. Oh, we have shatter. And uh, I really don't want to do this. Let's take this off. And maintenance incursion kills enemies in the maintenance section. I sector isn't. Oh, maintenance, hard work, caretakers, mandatory, secure it. I uh, guess we'll pop back to maintenance in a bit and take care of this. Just need to kill 25 people there. And frankly, we can always use. Okay, so abilities, yeah, definitely going to be getting some serious upgrades to launch. I've started to have some real fun with it. Astral Constructs, Weapon Forms, anyways, Construct Spin, we can upgrade, Constrict Spin or Upgrade, yeah, up, mm. Generous Magazine, High Rate of Fire, USG's Control Bursts, let's see what we've got here. That would allow, that would take a lot of our stuff, um, but, yeah. Okay, so we want to do this, so boom. Now, back up one, we go to mods, and see, obscured weapon mod. Uh, we don't really want to do any of this right now. Upgrade higher tier mods, and we'll get there. In the meantime, let's see, have we got anything else we want to do? Let's double check. Sorry, a little bit of maintenance before we have to go ahead, because I'm really big on the details. Oh, wait, gotta exit this. Go to here. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. Now, we want to shift out grip for spin. And we want to toss in a weapons mod. And we have new ones, exclusive to shatter, projectile choke. We want that. Eventually, spin, rate of fire boost. And spin, rate of fire boost. Well, we'll just put this one in. Okay, and we will get back to the, All right, so first of all, also, we want to, there's no point in having, you know, to spin, wait, 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 this is shatter recoil, no, this is not what I wanted, anyways, back to, sp to spin, okay, so we have plus, we have currently 25, we don't need plus 8 increases spin, so we'll deconstruct this one, let's see, where's my X, oh, wait, uh, F, deconstruct, there we go. Okay, and this one is damage boost plus 19%. Ooh. We definitely need to get some second slots going here. And let's see. Spin. We'll actually take spin out, put grip in. Grip's primary problem here, of course, is it doesn't have enough ammo. It doesn't do enough damage. So, we'll increase the damage to 19%. We'll increase the shadow recoil efficiency. Hmm. We can actually might reconsider doing this one. Recoil efficiency, accuracy plus six, damage and health, damage to spin, grip, shatter, pierce. What's that do? Recoil efficiency, shatter, projectile, choke. Or, oh wait, we should seven, six. Yeah, we definitely need to get rid of this one. And slowly, you know me, I like to construct things. So, yeah, let's do the projectile choke. Let's see if that's any better. And personal mods, do we have anything new? Dodge efficiency. 
Dodge efficiency of nine. We again do not need two of the same type. Then especially the one that's worse. And energy plus six percent. No, I don't think so. I think we're ooh, launch efficiency. Yeah. Let's be more efficient about that, shall we? Okay, so it's plus 24% plus 31%. Definitely going in. Since so we got that one. And again, let's just get rid of the old stuff. All right. Okay, so yeah, we need to keep track of this stuff. We're also going to debt mission. Okay, cool. Burn the. F okay, we need to get to the maintenance section. And, anyways, let's switch out. Oops, nope, wrong one. We're going to get out of here and then. Ah! Um, did I do something wrong here? Oops. I wanted to make sure... Okay, gotta take out grip, put in spin, and make sure we can switch between the two. What else have we got going here? Yeah, I think you're kinda... Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let me see what this looks like. Ooh. Okay, okay, and we switch out. Do the shotgun. All right, cool. We'll have some fun with this, and we'll see how it all goes. Now, we could grab over here and just get the end of this mission for these skill points, but I want to go help out God. God the janitor doesn't get enough work here. Okay, so coolant pumps, converters, central maintenance. Where exactly, whoops, where exactly we're supposed to go here? All right, so our current location is that we have to bow in that direction and head towards maiden, uh, the furnace chamber. That's where the next section is going to be. Also, I love how the coolant pumps kind of link up to it, too. We were right next to there when we were doing that. Ah. So we just kind of missed that part. All right. So switching over controls. So definitely. I'm going to get too exhausted here, but we should be close to the cake. This is the coolant pump. So where exactly are we again? All right. So, yeah, I've got to turn left here. And why the coolant pumps? Ah! Ooh! <laughs> Gotta remember how to do that. Alright, so cool. Let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. Are we just gonna have to cut through the coolant pumps? Is that what's going on here? Those are the coolant pumps. Where's the damned furnace? Uh, cooling water. I suppose we should probably just follow the cooling water. That would probably tell us where it is. Uh, and their hiss is around here somewhere. I can hear them. All right, yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Let's get back to combat settings. All right, so let's switch out our weapon. I want to see what we're doing here. Well, that's just kind of inaccurate as hell. Well, that took two whole clips. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, unless this thing's seriously... Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade the recoil here. Oh, God. Put in the recoil. There we go. Let's try that. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Central maintenance, energy converters. Where are we on this map? Why are we always going around in circles in this thing? All right, so we need to, okay, go the other way, this way. Furnace chamber. We're just going to follow the signs because they seem to know what we're doing better than I do. Okay, so furnace chamber, no stopping any time. All right, cool. And f elevator. Is this the front? This, the coolant? Uh. Oh, wait. Do I have to do this one, too? This is where we came in? Yeah, that's where we came in. I am so lost. I apologize. I tend to be... Wait, it's security. That's where we're supposed to stop. Don't mind me. Converters, elevator, map... I'm lost. This map is really messing with me, and I need to figure out how to get to the damn furnace. There was a sign back. We're not that. We're not that pissed off. You don't fall off the side. That would be bad. All right. So you lied to me. You said the furnace was this way. So if the furnace chamber's in this direction, which way are we supposed to go? Oh, what the hell. I think the map says we can get there through the coolant systems anyway, so we might as well just head out that way. Or maybe it's... Oh, right, it might be in through the same section. That's just throwing me off. Apologies for spending a few minutes of just 
you know, wandering around, but it takes me a little while sometimes to get reaccustomed to this game. Furnace chamber. Ah, so I was right, and we are going to have to shoot our way out of this. Okay, so close quarters. We want the shotgun. All right, cool. Anybody else want to play? All right, okay. Coolant pumps are this way. Furnace, that way. Okay, so now this makes more sense. Oh, oh, God's favorite music. He's definitely least Finnish. That's strange. Why would there be a f Why would they think God is Finnish? I crash. Did Atin barrels full of hazardous chemical? It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. You know what? God works in mysterious ways. Plus, I'm looking forward to jamming this down some hiss asshole's throat. Alright. Yeah, OSHA would just tear this place apart. Okay, so we've got more... Uh, uh, do I? I sent something over there. What are you? Okay, we got collectibles. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. Okay. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself. The furnace. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Always a great th idea. Be the proof I need to convince them. Apocalyptic log. The furnace can speak. Yeah. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a sentient force. Capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. <laughs> yeah, some entities are better bound, really, if you think about it. I mean, the thing is, it is a furnace. It consumes... Ah, there we go. There's another one over here. Okay, that was a close one. Gotta watch these endless steps. I mean, endless falls. Oh, great. I get closer to this thing. Alright. Yum. Hope you enjoyed that. Because I ain't getting any closer. Do-do-do-do-do. You know, it's busy work, but, you know, if it was exciting, God probably wouldn't be farming it out. Hmm. More barrels. Where are you? Do, 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 do. These don't have the right types on it, I believe. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Not the most exciting part of the game. I'd oh, oh. We gotta get up there. I was supposed to do that. Um... Don't tell me I gotta get fly first. Alright, so... Whoops, if I recall properly, I do this better with this device. Alright, let's get ready. Okay. And, got it. Mm. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do it, unfortunately. I don't think... Well, maybe I can just grab it from up here. Get really lucky. Okay, you ready? All right. They don't, sometimes I make these things too hard on myself. But yes, God's trash. I don't want to know what's in there. All right, we're almost done. Excellent, excellent. It's probably down there somewhere. Ah, and we can get it from here. And toss it that way. Oh, whoops, one more. I heard a groan groaning. Yeah, my guess is that's a fire blood god in there, and they've put him in the furnace for the eternal supply of power. And to keep him from, you know, creating cults that would worship that worship him and feed him uh, and monster feed him people. Nope, feeding uh, uh uh is that it right there? Well no, nope, but it is a fun box. Give me the loot box. Alright, ritual impulse. And see, supposedly you'd probably be down here if I was a, if I was a tox ah, a toxic waste barrel. Where would I be hiding? There's no hiding from Jesse. The director is taking out the trash, and you are the trash. 
Oh, give me a second. I'll be back for you. Ah, missed on that one. All right, cool. Now let's go talk to whatever that was. Oh, did I do any damage? I hope not. Probably not great in her ankles when I do that. Let's talk. Main mail tube complaint. All right. Oosh. All right, cool. Kill the enemies in the matron sector. Good defense. Need to collect that mission as well. See, it's completed. Best the trash. We'll probably get a, a point or two. And correspondence. Let's go. Ah, mail tube complaint. Hey, Bowser. Get this. The accounting department still hasn't received any of my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because a shift or a threshold or some fuckery. And I don't have the originals. I can't verify my expense for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even have these fucking tubes? They spit our mail on some other goddamn dimension. Keep just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless piece of shit. Hopefully he's just talking about the uh, correspondence and not. Uh, we've got that one right. The furnace research. All right. So. With all that out of the way, let's go. Let's go turn the uh, get the lockdown off. Then we'll go. I suppose look for the safe. Do, 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 do. Okay, this way. And then we'll have some fun. All right. So yeah, I think we can probably collect this. We can even teleport between the two if I was being really lazy. I'm not that lazy. All right. So abilities too, and we want yes, more damage for launch. Oh, you better believe it. We are going to have some serious fun when we start being able to launch grenades. Anyways, we're ready. Also, I need to stop by the maintenance section and, uh, you know, do some murder. I think we're in the maintenance section. Aren't we? Yeah, we're in the maintenance section. Okay, so let's run over, grab our goodies here by turning off the, you know... Security measures that are keeping the hiss from spreading because we've got to do that because you can't thwart stage one, as the trope page says. All right, so tell me where are you supposed to go in here. I know, would it kill you to do a waypoint system? Maybe, I don't know. Multidimensional mapping can be probably problematic. All right, so security's down there, right? Yes, yes it is. So let's go talk to the dude. Actually, before we do anything, I want to go check with Emily. So, I'm going to do a quick fade in and out to see before we end the main section here whether Emily has any more dialogue. If I switch back to here in a moment, you know that she didn't. Head and out. Okay, so Emily didn't have anything to say, and I just teleported over to the control room where we have to be in order to do some killing to get to the controls to unlock everything because you know how quickly the hiss respawn, right? Okay, where we got... Not quite, dude. Break room is that way. This is not the break room. There will be no hovering in the workspace. We have a no hovering policy. Thank you. Yes, this is my equipment, but they keep rebuilding it anyway, so I don't really feel bad doing this. Not for crying out loud. Some of these things are just, come on. Hey, did these count towards my kills? Probably not. All right, I'm feeling a little exposed here. Oh yeah, that's it. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Well, that sucked. I need to move, and I also need this gone. Thank you. Don't stop moving. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's stay in close. Hopefully we can clear this out. All right, cool. More people showing up. Good, I like friends. Lots of friends. Friends with rocket launchers. Okay, now let me eat your soul. Thanks. Hmm, not a lot of soul bits. Must have fallen. Okay, so let's not stay in one place. We still have enemies. Hi! Bad spawn point. Really bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 
Force push has some fun behind it. Who's next? We got anyone else? We cool here? We're cool. Okay, so. Uh, control room. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Electricity levels, water levels, good. Okay, we'll just pop back in here. Obviously, there's... Oh, we've got more friends. Come on. Oh, throw it. Well, that was bad. No, nah, my performance is not doing that good. Come on, come on, come on. No, I see you, I see you, I see you. You don't see me, however. This is concrete, though, boys. Yeah, I'm going crazy with force push. Or force something, rather. All right, let's get this place under lockdown. Oh, God, I can't believe we didn't do this previously. But cleanse the point, would you please? This is my house, not your house. Uh, this is idea of, art of um, architecture is just so... Hmm. Just realized something. Give me a second. I have this centered properly on my screen. Oh, God, you again? Forces contained. Ugh, dead people. Only be lifted by a directorial override. All right, all right, come on, come on. I'll get this straight up here. All right, cool. This is what we came here to do. Excellent. Let's get the collectibles open. I'm sure we've got more to talk about. All right, Trench, give me the full details. Don't just tease me. So much. <laughs> From the director. Wine, 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 wine. The responsibility, the privilege to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. You're way too much into this role. Inspire and lead its people to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. That's how this works. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the director's life. Get a blog. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition. Really? Terror. Death. Yeah. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Okay, that's the one thing you said I agree with. Any emergency, any major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. Okay. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. And this dude is way into noir. Alright, so yeah, let's let's back up here. Okay, first things first. Okay, so they're supposed to go over there, but let's search the place first. Oh wait, did not mean to press that button. Been a little too telekinetically happy there at times. All right, so everything's getting shot to hell, but did we have any documents in here that we could look at with the... Oh, it doesn't look like it. Usually they'll pop up and show themselves in some fashion. All right, so the control room. God, you guys have to work on interior design. This is like the most depressing place to work. Wide open spaces, no color. Not even a nice little... Song. Okay, that's the sector elevator. So let's just get the lockdown over with and move the plot on to the next disaster. Are you ready? Oh, the gun's the safe point. Well, that makes sense. Only we're the only ones who can use it. 
How did they manage to make that work, I wonder? Is it just a unique shape? All right. The express elevator to hell is now open. And here's hell. Which, of course, is a bureaucracy. It always is. All right. Speak with Emily. All right, let's teleport That's over. It. The other sector should be open now. Let's go talk to Emmy. It's time I told Emily why I'm here. All right, so more plots. Are we done? Oh, God. Oh, hi, Polaris. I've never forgotten you were there, by the way. All right, fast travel. And let's pop over to talk to Emmy. This time, for real. And we're back. All right, the boardroom's in that... No, that's not the direction. Where is the boardroom? There. Sending higher and higher. Okay, cool, cool. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. Ha ha ha. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output. Oh, you poor child. You poor, poor child. Okay, come on. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Don't be stupid. What would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? I don't know. I mean, we all know actually the gun itself killed the trench because he was considered to be vulnerable and didn't want the gun going over Jesse, to the hiss. You made it. Excellent. You the internal lockdown. All right. Let's talk, Emily. All right. Yes, of course. Let's talk. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. Really? I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. There's a moat there. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? I'm very, very, very it's concerned. Hard to describe, <laughs> but it. She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Mm -hmm. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. Hmm. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. Well, she's, she's been the god. With me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. Oh, Polaris, that's how you pronounce As it. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. 
Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Probably. Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take Ooh, you. Ooh, Clarence 3. We need at some point to go back and clear old areas to see if we find anything. Ooh. Marshall is the next step. Well, she looks fun. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Ominous. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Remember, kids, pay your debts to gods. Okay, before we go any further, um, let's make sure we know what we're doing. I, first of all, I completely missed it. There's a, something over here to grab. All right, initial impressions. Cool missions. Okay. Well, I should get one of those. Collectibles. Research and records. Let's see what we got here. Oh, just organize it. Initial encounter. Analysis of history at part one. I guess we do this after the first part. Anyways, initial encounters the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Noticeably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt reality points, alter items, and even humans radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRE devices that Dr. Darling's distributed all over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to the Hiss, I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material organisms of the his corruption. We tested the ability in the his corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps if both psych physiology comes reliant on the his, more work to be done. Okay, let's go over a few things. Uh, first of all, let's see if Emily has anything else to say. Alright, cool, let's go with that. Hi, Jesse. Yes, actually, we have more to say about this. Excellent. For, that's why I kind of skipped ahead here. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. Yeah. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. <laughs> could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Correct. All right, okay, building shifts. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons Why of water. Why do you work here? It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research He's a project. Bond villain, isn't he? I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? I'm with you on that one. All right, right, Pope's roll. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. Okay, Mad. So there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Okay, so she's a mad scientist, but she's our mad scientist. At least she's, she's you know saner than Zorin over in the Illuminati secret world. Okay, the casino and the control points, but yeah. God, this is a lot of exposition. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? 
But we know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Okay. Well, that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's a safety measure that nobody can go into a dimension that, or a reality that's not meant for them, only the ones that you actually came in. Control points. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Nexus point? Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from... Don't do that. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh... Has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What? I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Ooh. Let's hold off on the tests <laughs> later, okay? God, she's drooling. Okay. You know, it's just. Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. Not really. I love it. See, oh god, the amount of See you soon. mad science Be to deal with over here. First of all, Polaris is an entity possessing her uh, as a vessel. That would be technically what she would call in both metaphysical and science fiction terms, is that she is in fact a vessel for a the alien entity known as Polaris. Now, Polaris indicates that it's a probably entity of order, which is why it's capable of working with the Demiurge here. Um, because both of them want to preserve the dimensional order. Now, the Demiurge itself, of course, is an evil faction. The Bureau is, of course, serving an evil faction, even if they think it's for the greater good. And, of course, that's when everything gets kind of nuts. But let's pop over here and see what we got. I think, yeah, we just, oh, abilities. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we don't have enough for the rest, though. These will require three, but we'll get there. But yeah, we have launch grenades and rockets back of the enemy. That could be coming handy because grenades are kind of really not working for me. Up uh, or countermeasures, surge, pierce, spin. All right, so we're going to have to put spin back in. We can do that. Not a problem. Executive, kill guards, and executive sector using spin. Just spin? Yeah, let's just go with spin for the moment right now because this doesn't actually... Oh, it's uncommon mod. Oof. Should we run over the sector and do that? Oh god, I'm gonna be like... Alright, so... Let's escape here. We're in the executive sector, aren't we? Come on, where we got? Yeah, we're in central executive sector, so I gotta go find... I gotta go... Oops, sorry. Let's do some killing and I'll do some talking. Oh, wait, oh, sorry guys. Live specimen? Oh, great, I'm going to capture one of these things, aren't I? It's going to be your fault, too. Okay, so we're going to run over. Let's talk about what else is going on. All right, so we have the hotel, which is basically... Okay, defective affairs. Come on, let's do some killing. And we need to shift over to the... Oops, hang on. Oh, I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. Missions. Which ones do we have? Running. Yep. Kill executives. Use it. Okay, cool. We'll need to use... We need practice with the damn gun anyways. We might as well just go use it. Let's talk about the factions that are in play. Uh, I think I already got this one, didn't I? Didn't I? Do you have new ones? Oh my god. New stuff pops up? Yeesh. Correspondence. Oh, just give me the unread one. Visitor Evaluation. Federal Bureau of Control. How to handle unscheduled visitors into the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the American United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed national infrastructure. If they do not leave, ask them questions. Are you here to someone? Are you from New York or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain this is a secure federal office and they'll need to leave. As just seen, blah, blah, blah. Escort them to a private room. They are performed the Gurnas Psychological Settlement. If they're responsive and acceptable to deviate, Speed score seat, then blah 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 immediately. Remember, such a thing as being too suspicious. Oh great. We are working for the fucking secret police. Anyways. Alright, so we let's head up I can't use the gun here. Alright. So wait. Are we using spin? Give me a second here. Yeah, I'm kind of this is alright, grip, put it back to spin. Let's do that with the not. Oh, do we got better mods? What do we got? Uh, launch energy cost? Oh no, we're just gonna get rid of you. 
All right, cool. In the meantime, I'm calling a break. Oh, good God, this thing's inaccurate. You, out. Oh. Yeah, this thing definitely needs work. All right, you, go away. All right, all right. I don't think I'm actually getting enemies kill here. I mean, oh, missions? And kill guard, zero for 10. All right, it's cool. I need somebody to shoot at me. Preferably not very well. Oh, gods. You know, it's not usually not this so difficult to find someone to try to murder you in this place. Then look at me, I'm willing to murder them. All right, let's go. Director's office, but... Bathroom, nobody killing here. But yeah, let's talk about the Demiurge. Okay, some of you may know that I'm kind of obsessed with Gnosticism as being the real world. Oh, look. I don't like the picture. I don't think it gets my good likeness. Ooh, creepy music. Come on. Come on. Somebody kill me. Somebody try to kill me. Central executive. I think this is a good place to find people to try to kill me. Ooh, ooh. We can't get in there. It's level access four. Oh, no, wait. I, this is where I belong. Ah! Anyways, suffice it to say that I apologize for that. The Demiurge. Now, if you know I'm obsessed with, kind of obsessed with Gnosticism, hang on. We'll cover this on the other side of things. Where are we supposed to go now? Oof, wait, need to track. All right, so let's switch over to the board countermeasures. Let's grab, take that off. Uh, History Beetle Squash Maintenance Sector. Put that in. Anyways, so let's go let's change out the missions. Ah, I'm doing a terrible accurate though on this one. Sometimes, okay, oh boy, this club. Where do we go? Find Marshall. Research sector. We need to get to the research sector. Where is the research sector? Thank you. Research sector. We should probably leave this section. Wait, wait. The elevator. Right. The whole point of this was to get the elevator going, wasn't it? Sometimes I'm not so bright. All right, let's go to research. The maintenance, however, allows me to do some shooting up of people for uh, for money. Hmm. Well, let's just get the story along. I've been screwing around a bit. Well, this isn't ominous whatsoever. First things first, let's turn spin back into grip and switch back to the shotgun. Grip's just for the long range accuracy when I'm just really not, okay, this is gonna get bad. I can already tell. Oh, thank you. Now I can't see anything. Let's first... Excuse me. Okay, nothing over here besides throwable stuff. Research sector. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. I'll be with you in a moment. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. No, lovable geek. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for God, 1950s. Years I've always been here. And Duh. through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries. Authored <laughs> studies of grave importance. Oh, is that Emily? In all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's... Oh. We truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality. Bad idea. And to make the Bureau proud. So, Welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> All right, cool. I like you. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau of Mad Scientists. Well, there are scientists now. I... Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, two. Head count reduction. Thank you. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, apparently, headcount reduction hostile. Whoa. Let's remember that, you know. Okay, so. Let's remember we can grab those things now. We're gonna try. We 
Okay, you're not sneaking up on me on this section. Cool, 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 cool. Now I was set to monologue, but okay, we got this guy over here. Try to keep up. Yes, I will run away. Sometimes running away is the best thing you can possibly do. Oh, there you are. Stop growling at me. It's unprofessional. Well, that happened. Whoa! And you miss. Okay, the deadening is happening here. God. Why do I have to be the exterminator? That's pretty much what the director does. Oh, what do you know? Not a moving target. Not... Oh! Oh, I got ambushed. Good. Except you're too close. Get rid of you! God, vermin. Oh, there's Darling's office. At least one of them. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, you? Anyone else? All right, I'm... Come on. Come on. I'm here. And are we done yet? No. Who's next? Anyone? Anyone at all? Last takers for a bit. Hmm. Should be using spin. Problem is I can't rely on it for the long range stuff. Do 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 do. Oh wait, I don't don't have time to wait for this. Excuse me. All right, cool. You sit down. Oh my God, the collect. I don't know how much more of the exposition we can take this episode. But oh wait, wait. Regarding HRAs, what are they for? Hmm. Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? Mm-hmm. Now he's not looking good. Apparently nobody's. What you may have heard. Ah. HRAs are not monitoring devices. This is why people wouldn't wear them. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations. But well, we are, but not with those. We did that regardless. Of whether <laughs> you're Told you. Just you know. Think of them as a. Uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is, um, classified. Yeah. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and... You'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be, uh, quick and painless. Mm-hmm. Kidding. It won't be either. We're making more. Okay, so I'm not sure why I had that set up, but oh my god. Exposition. We've got so much more to go over. Astral plane counter essay. Oh my god, everything has just gone insane. Astral blip, intrusive pattern, loadout. Up in mods. Oh gods. We definitely need to get some uh, upgrading for our weapons here. But what do we have for the mods? 
grip. So it appears well, we don't get anything useful for that. Everything is just so much. Okay, records and research. What do we just give me the unread one? Astral plane. Objects of power and their astral connections. Dr. Darling insisted that a certain objects of power share a direct connection to the blank, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on. Gods, or little I'm allowed to access. In his written report, he states there's a clear link between these objects of power, the blank, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work suppose these links are innate, in fact, ingrained to the very blank of the objects such as the hotline to service weapon. He's actually correct. Demiurge, by the way, would be the one he's blanking here. And I got to get that Demiurge uh, uh, concept. I've done some serious reading about the pre Gnosticism ideas of the obscurity of the divine light by the Demiurge, but I haven't quite gotten them to the narrative yet. But whether these particular objects were never linked to the blank, but they had that connection forced upon them, isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the blank? Isn't it strange that using a service weapon in the hotline would result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involved by a blank is a natural fact, not something more blank? Oh, darling, why? I hope they're... Okay, do we... HRA, the sector... Okay, so we haven't got anything new there. But we do have something actually new, and I missed about the... the uh, about the board telling us about the hiss, and I'm not sure how much I want... Oh, well, that's hilarious. Okay, cool. Darling, tell me something. Darling, budget request? All right. Uh, Dar dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you, asking for an increase in her budget uh, budgets department. I am not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss but no results. Paraconsology has never been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem is sucking up. You can only see which department is more deserving the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formal research team. Anyways, I'm sure you're a fan of single malt, so I have to bottle a well-aged brown on your desk. <laughs> oh, gas kisser. All right, so... It's, I know, the music's... God is still telling me via the music there's somebody out there, but they weren't bothering to get to me. Oh, nice. Nice uh, collection of uh, improbable objects. You must be trying to design the multidimensional array. Oh, the astral plane. The summary. Astral plane and the object of power. The Bureau spent years studying the why objects of power transport users in the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when AWE incurred the area, creating an altered item. Okay, archetypes, collective subconscious, AWEs, altered items. All this actually fits into the Western um, esoteric structure in the fact that the archetypes and cells are living embodiments, aka gods, that's what I referred to previously, or spirits, or and which are essentially living archetypes, both gods and spirits. The collective subconscious being not the subconscious of humanity, but the conscious of the universe, the, aka the dream realm, and all these things will be focused through an object or a person. Jesse herself obviously is an object of power with Polarius. The weapon is an object of power with the direct... Now, understand the directors, the boards, Control of these objects does not mean it created them. It means it controls them. Remember, what's the name of the game? Control, right? So the thing is, they can these objects are brought in. The Demiurge can, that takes over their power, then distributes them to its agents, as it's doing now. Jesse, that will continue its a, a mission of both, keeping this world safe, because after all, who better to look after the sheep than the shepherd? And, of course, to keep the people numb and spiritually dead uh some of the stuff i've been reading by the way is going to be fascinating i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it all into this but the concept being okay let's get back to the game so many additional theories have been raised since dr ash's time object powers are placed on earth as tests by some astral entity our dimension was when part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as the borders receded the astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house but the connections were severed now the two are solely linked to the object of power i will help you disprove some of these orders to thin the herd hopefully the truth will emerge uh good luck Okay, so, these must be the Hadron research notes, as you notice here, he's trying to make what's known as an impossible object, basically a three-dimensional array of a fourth-dimensional object, aka a hypercube, aka the Tesseract, which, of course, is the space stone in Marvel, stum Marvel uh, movies. Where are you, dude? Seriously, where are you? I mean, you're just there going, Bruh. you're kind of boring. Dimensional research? Do I even want to go in here? I don't want to go in here, but I probably have to. What? Going disco, are we? All right, sorry. Nothing in here, though. Nothing I can get into. Oh, shit. Did I really want to open that? No, probably not. Oh, gods. We're not going in there until 
we have an idea what the hell we're doing. But in any case, that's Darling's first off. Thank you. Somebody else is down there, aren't they? Oh, gods. Okay, cool. What the hell was that? I guess we'll have to shoot it to find out. Missed me. Oh, I missed that too. Good. Cover. Did I get you all? The music changed. Oh god, the budget for this place is going to be... Preparing this place is going to be off the scale. Ugh. Oh. Excuse me, I'm interrupting something? I didn't call this meeting. And... Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, research and research. We'll we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, that this one's on me. I I apologize. Anything in here? Yes, yes, there is. Oh God, I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff. We'll get to it later. I should probably stop destroying the place. No, oh, the hiss just stopped doing it too. Shelter. Usually some stuff in there. Ugh. Well, at least we'll be able to get in here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, even more stuff. Emergency call summary. And launch efficiency. Alright, so let's just close the door for a second. Oh my god, how much more stuff do we have? Yeesh. Loadouts even got more personal mods. What do we got here? Launch efficiency costs 11% and 9%. We know what that means. All right, cool. Uh, 10,000. We should really get to a control point and see if we can purchase a new... Okay, cool. So let's see what we've got for correspondence, shall we? I know, this is a game with a lot of reading. But that's what we're all here for, right? Unread. Synchronicity. Ooh, synchronicity is one of my favorite subjects, by the way. A glimpse into the paranatural, synchronicity and the unseen connections. Introduction. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It's how we rationalize events controlled connected by no identical causality, yet then clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of the master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in places that we do not understand, and sometimes they stumble across these invisible unseen cords, and what a result? The visionary Carl Jung, yeah, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of young. For every young. Light of the road, and I must walk it. My fledgling research department will make our mission to reliably reproduce synchronistic events upon command. I can already tell you that. Behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will be laid themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember names, but God himself will. Well, he's mopping the floor, so I'm not sure how that works. All right, so back up a bit. So, synchronicity. Many of you may know this as one of the most commonly bandered about words on a cult Twitter. Um, this is known as the ability to or events that are no longer, that, uh, that just kind of happen. If people just come into your life that are utterly important to you, that open a whole new avenue to your life, or you suddenly have a uh, some uh, opportunity that sends you to someplace else that takes you away from a bad disaster, synchronicity is kind of the ebb and flow of the unseen currents of the world. It's something that's quite powerful, and I've witnessed it and experienced it myself. But one of the things about that is that it seems to, the pattern seems to be kind of a meta Narrative. In other words, it's not about a single person, it's about everybody interacting in a way that the universe apparently wants them to interact for a purpose I can barely understand. Anyways, emergency call summoning a possible AWE in an unnamed individual experience of transcorporality versus a phone line. Child on a phone line event is only similar to AWE blank in the blank. Event is believed to cause by blank and caused by the following measures to prevent blank. That's really not useful. Why do you even have entries like that? Ugh. Anyways, correspondence, plant complaint. Hey, oops, just magnify that. I was just wondering about the plants and research is necessary to sing to them. I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice and the plant sure does seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I mean, tired of the tango. Hey, you do not tell God what he's, a, what he's allowed to sing. Where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted and people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are you invaded by house plants worth looking into? Well, I suppose that's one way to invade, you know, we, 
your life you are plant-based species. Anyways, let's see where we're supposed to be going in a moment here. I All right, cool. Who's this? Who's this? Oh god, the hiss is talking again. Ugh. I can't... What the hell? Controls are gumming up. Who's next? Alright, so we're doing okay. Getting a better hang of this. Oh, well, that happened. Good thing I can ha usually I can see recoil and such. I'm over here. Cover's not really helpful. Hey, you guys do better at range, but that's why I like to get close up. Okay, senior staff officer. Miss this. Now I'll just eat your souls to get my health back. Probably should be doing something new. Catch. Ooh, hard to keep track of me, isn't it? Gods, that was incredibly. Okay, we definitely need to get past this point. I don't know what that was, but I shot it, so... I'm supposed to shoot them. It may have something to do with that barrier. Which means I probably should save that for the next section. Anyways, so let's grab some stuff. Grab some more... Ooh, even more stuff. And I'm definitely going to have to go through all of this at some point, but the amount of crap I'm going through is incredible. Getting both with enemies and experience, but I think we probably should end the episode here because we have just opened up a whole bunch of stuff. And I realized that like more than half of it was me wandering around talking or reading things, but this is... Oh, hang on one second. Okay, so I kind of hope that you enjoyed that little run through chaos that we had this time because, oh my god. God, did everything go crazy. I mean, it's basically the game's got a kind of an uneven flow with half the time we're reading and half the time things are trying to kill us with rocket launchers. Now, I did get that special... She kind of smiled about that killing part. I'm thinking that Jesse has probably got a thing about danger. I mean, that was the only reason that she would be wanting to have a job like this. You know, dealing with alien threats and all. But it's going to be interesting to see how the story goes. Now, again, the concepts of the astral plane, the objects of power, the eldest house, God being the janitor, the demiurge being the person we're working for, technically an evil entity, and all that do actually all link together in combination from pre down to Jungian psychoanalysis to uh, modern um, quantum physics. But again, we'll be going over bits and pieces of that. And if you really want me to drop a lore video about this, I'll do it. It's mostly going to be me talking over footage because that's about the only thing I'm capable of doing at this time for recording purposes. But I will go into my theories about the different factions and such. Let me know in the comments if you're actually interested. I'll try to drop snippets from time to time, but you know how that goes. Of course, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country. Hope you enjoyed this. If you really did, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification if you subscribe so you know when the next episode comes off. We usually try to get two to three a week. And I'll be dealing with the Cosmic War and its implications. And, of course, if you really like this, down below are links to the Gummer payment platform where you can have a supporter and help this channel grow. There are stretch goals for both subscribers. The next one's going to be at 900 subscribers, which will increase another shot of Cultist Simulator and Darkest Dungeon for those who are following our Sidery episodes. And the stretch goal for the supporters, which I was wrong about the amount, by the way, so it's a little longer than I thought. But if we do get to the fourth stretch goal, it'll be the entire new series that we voted on by supporters. And if you are a supporter, you get early access as well. You're voting on f uh, additional apps, additional episodes for supporters only. And you get to vote on additional material in the future. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye.